Today I'm going to be doing the 1996 Chevrolet Tahoe drum brakes. This is the most common drum brake setup on a Chevrolet truck. So right now I have it set up on a piece of plywood, but if it were on a truck, the axle would be here, and that's where it would be mounted on your truck. So we're going to be removing the two upper springs here, the two anchor pins, and the one bottom spring here. Uh, the two anchor pins are always going to be last to come off because that's what holds everything in place. So the first spring to come off is this one attached to the primary shoe. The difference between the primary shoe and the secondary shoe is the secondary shoe is much larger than the primary shoe and the secondary shoe is attached to the e-brake cable and the primary shoe is always facing the front of the vehicle. So this is going to be the tool I will be using to remove the springs. I'm going to use this end. You go in and twist. It's always a good idea when doing drum brakes to make a diagram on the table or the floor beside it as you go. Now I'm going to take out this spring here using side cutters. And then I'm going to Remove this bottom spring here, using this end, just hook it behind the spring, and then take this off here. Now the last thing to do is take off the two anchor pins. So before you take your two anchor pins out, you should take out your star wheel. And this, what the star wheel does is it self-adjusts and it adjusts your brakes. It self-adjusts by a spring-loaded arm here and it moves this which unthreads it and pushes the brake pads outwards. So this is a tool you want to use to remove the two anchor pins. And to remove them, what you're going to do is you're going to reach in the back and hold this pin in the center and with, you're going to be pushing with the tool to push it forward and then twist so it lines up with the slot and it'll unlock itself from that hole. So, here. so hold the back, push and twist and do the same thing on the other side. So same thing on this side. Now I'm going to remove the e-brake cable from the secondary shoe using side cutters. If your new brake shoes don't have this arm that is connected to the e-brake cable, you need to take it off of the old uh, shoes. And to do that, you spread out this ski clip that's holding this pin in place. And once you do that, it should slide out. And to replace it back into the new ones, you just slide the pin back in and then slide the C-clip back on. So the first step in putting the e-brake cable back on to your secondary shoe is to back off the spring using slip joint and side cutters. So you do that by backing off the spring and holding it with the side cutters and then sliding it back into place. Get it far enough, grab your shoe, and then release. So to put the anchor pins back in, there's a hole here, and you come to the back, and you put it through the hole, like so. So grab your shoe, bring it up, put it through the hole here. And make sure when you're putting on your uh, brake shoe, watch out for the wheel cylinder. Try, if you push it too hard one way or the other, 
it will pop the wheel cylinder and if you do that you need to bleed your whole brake system. So then you want to take your star wheel adjustment assembly and place it on here. Basically what this does is this adjusts your star wheel which adjusts your two shoes upwards and grab the spring and your tool. There you go. So then you put this spring back in on this prong here. So to do that, you just lift this up and bend it into place. There you go. So I'm going to be putting in the bottom spring and the star wheel when I put on the primary shoe. And this spring only goes on one way because if it were to go on this way, it hit the adjustment wheel. So you have to make sure you put it in the proper way and the star wheel only goes in one way as well. You have to get it to the side where the adjustment is, where this is, so it would sit in there like, like so, and the spring behind it. So it hooks into this hole here, and then you want to grab your shoe, and then hook it in, and then grab your star wheel, make sure it goes in the correct way, and then kind of Pull the assembly and then line it up with the anchor pin hole and then you want to put in your anchor pin spring. Grab your spring, make sure you're holding it on the back. There you go. So next you're going to put this bar back in and this bump here is always going to be facing the left. So you Line it up. Line everything up. And then put the rest of the springs back on. First you want to put this back in up top. And there's actually a beveled edge for it to sit on. Make sure it's on that edge. And then this, just pull this down. It's actually easy enough to do with your hands. Next, I'm going to put in this spring. So it just hooks in. And you use your brake tool again. You put in the last spring using the same method. Just hook it in the hole. Use the same end. And that's how you do 1996 Chevrolet Tahoe drum brakes.